November 22nd, 1942 was a special day, for on that day, a new astronaut was born. His name, Eon Bluford. Bluford always worked hard in school, which paid off, for in 1960, Bluford graduated from the Overbrook Senior High in Philadelphia. Then, four years later in 1964, Bluford successfully got a Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering from Pennsylvania State. Ten years after that, in 1974, he again received a degree, this time being a Master of Science from the Air Force Institute of Technology. He didn't stop there. For in 1978, he got a Doctor of Philosophy in Aerospace Engineering. Finally, after returning from his first space mission in 1987, nine years later, Bluford received a Master's in Business Administration. The same year, 1987, Bluford learned that he was one of the 35 selected astronaut candidates from the 10,000 residents of the field. Bluford, you get to be an astronaut. Yes! After being applied in the astronaut training program, Bluford proceeded to become an astronaut in 1979. Three, Three two, two, one, one lift, lift off! off. On August 30th, 1983, Bluford was on his first mission, the STS-8, aboard the Challenger. During this mission, Bluford became the first African American in space. This mission of the Challenger made 98 orbits around the Earth, then safely landed at the Edwards Air Force Base in California on September 5th, 1983. In 1985, Bluford served on the crew of the STS-61A, featuring the largest crew to fly into space. After 111 orbits, the crew returned in 1985. In 1991, Bluford continued to serve, this time on the crew of the STS-39, adding 23 orbits onto the previous 111. This ship returned later that year, in 1991. Yet again, in the next year, 1992, he resided in the STS-53 mission, completing 115 orbits of Earth and returning in December of that year. After all four of these flights, Bluford had 688 hours of space travel logged. Man, I'm tired. After 1993, Bluford left NASA to become the Vice President of the Engineering Service Divisions of NYMA. He then proceeded to become the Vice President of numerous other organizations, including the Aerospace Sector of Federal Data Corporations, Microgravity R&D and Operation, and similar companies. In 1964, Bluford married the lovely Linda Tull. They then proceeded to give birth to Gion III and James. This famous first African American space still lives today. After logging 688 hours in space upon four missions, Bluford goes down in history as a wonderful former member of NASA and a brave astronaut.